An anniversary-filled edition of the Calgary Flames Alumni Masters Golf Tournament. It's the 30th edition of an event that's raised more than $3 million for Calgary-based charities. 100% of the proceeds from this year's event going in support of cerebral palsy kids and families, helping more than 2,000 kids with a physical disability experience the joy of riding a bike over the last 11 years. There's also some new faces around this year celebrating another anniversary. 35 years since the group in 1989 hoisted the Stanley Cup, most of them back to celebrate this weekend. It's an amazing year, like so we're uh, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the uh, Flames Alumni Masters Tournament. So that's a pretty uh, pretty special number. And then uh, the, the group, so it's the 35th anniversary of the Stanley Cup winning 1989 team. So we see a bunch of them here uh, today. Uh, they're getting the full experience of golf in Western Canada in spring here, but uh, very excited to see some of them back in town. Some of them haven't been back here for, for a long time. And then obviously uh, why we're here is to raise money. So uh, we're here to raise money for CP kids and families again. Uh, I think it's our 11th year that uh, we've done that for them and uh, everyone's pretty excited. Uh, it's just really nice to see everybody. We had a really close group, uh, won the Stanley Cup. I'm not sure you win Stanley Cup without having a close group. Uh, we definitely had that, and uh, it's just going to be a great three days, uh, hanging out with the guys, telling stories, uh, probably, uh, you know, thinking we were way better than we really were, but, you know, we could talk about it for a few days, have a little fun. Uh, but, you know, I think about the management, I think about uh, how we were treated as Calgary Flames, and, uh, and Calgary still holds a real, uh, you know, soft spot in my heart, for sure. This one's special, I think, because, you know, Lanny is so involved in all of our lives and uh, what he went through a couple months ago. Uh, so I, I think we're all anxious to get our Cliff Fletcher is rolling in today. So um, it's just a good time. Yeah, when you're a teammate, you know, you love everyone, but there's a few guys that you have that are kind of special to you. And it's so nice to see, like, Yuri Hedin, him and I were buds. And He's a, just a hoot. It's, I follow him on Instagram, he follows me. We laugh banter back and forth. It's so nice to see him here, give him a hug and be around him. And you know, guys like Rob and I the same thing. You don't get to see him very much and it's, what a thrill to see him and he looks great. You know, for me, I was fortunate to talk to some really, really great gentlemen, former owners of the Calgary Flames and Harley Hodgkiss and Doc Seaman. And, I, I chatted with them about bringing the team from Atlanta to Calgary and why they did that. And they said, we want to make Calgary a, a better place. Um, it, it wasn't just about professional hockey. It was about, you know, building other programs and being involved with the community and things like that. And um, that's one of the main kind of pillars of the Flames alumni. Uh, we're here to be involved, uh, to help raise funds and just help make uh, Calgary and Southern Alberta a better better place to be and uh, I think we all take that very seriously. It's a great responsibility that we have and uh, we're happy to do it.